What's up everybody, my name is Talam and welcome to the second episode of the series One Album, One Week in which I'm choosing an album and studying it for a week in order to get the most that I can out of it as a musician and as a guitarist. I would like to remind you that I would love it if you would join in this challenge and share your results with everybody. But anyway, without further delay, let's get into the album I did this week. So for this week I chose In Rainbows by The Radiohead which is one of my favorite bands and this album in particular is one that I really really like. The thing with this album is that uh, it's a little bit above my skill at this point of this challenge so I didn't get everything out of it but anyway I got some things over the past week and I would like uh, to share it with you. Let's get started. One of the most characteristic things that Radiohead do is changing between the same chord from major to minor or the other way around. In this album, this is very particular at the start of Nude, where the guitar is playing this thing. This change exists in many forms throughout their songs and it is something that is really beautiful when done correctly and they seem to have mastered it. The second thing that was really interesting to me and something that I, I really need to do more was how many different kinds of chords they were playing throughout their songs. There were open chords like this. <laughs> as well as triads like this. But the most interesting thing to me was the simplest thing they were doing, which was an inversion of a simple third interval. Because instead of getting this sound, With the same notes, they got this. Speaking for myself, I don't think about inversions all that much and it's really the same and something that I want to get better at because it's a very simple way to get a more interesting sound from the same notes that you normally use. Finally, the third thing that I have already known kind of but nevertheless is very interesting and is one of the main points of Radiohead's music is the way they create or don't create tension in their songs. This is something that I think is a work of the band as a whole rather than each person on its own but I think they are really masters at building tension with their songs and really guiding you to their feelings that they want to express from them. So within the same record they can have a song like this which begins as a very simple major sound but then they turn it into a dominant one when they play this note this is the note that changes the sound of the whole song and gives it uh, its very characteristic uh, radiohead sound. On the other hand, when they want to give you a more relaxed feeling, they have songs uh, like House of Cards, which is harmonically much easier to our ears, because it's a simple one chord to the fourth, but within the same song, when they want to make it uh, darker, they add the second chord, the second minor chord, and they can change it like this.
Anyway, that's it for this week. As I said, I think that I barely scratched the surface with this album, but I think that this is something that I will come back to at a later stage of this challenge when I have practiced more doing this thing. However, I think that these three things will be something that will add a lot to my playing and they're definitely something that I wasn't already doing. Now I would like to remind you that this is something that I would love if we could all do it together. I think that this is something that everybody can gain from and I would also like your suggestions on how I can make these videos better or more interesting. The only problem that I have is that I haven't thought of an easy way for everybody to share their results. So if anybody has any suggestions on the matter over which platforms or anything else we can use, please leave it in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'll see you next Friday, I think with the album Paranoid by Black Sabbath. My name is Talam, thank you very much for watching.